Hello, everybody. Welcome to some St. Clair Saints Call of Duty action. I'm John and Bill Bangs. I'm joined today by Amanda, Commander Dupuy, and uh, looking forward to some action. Obviously, uh, St. Clair Saints, arguably one of the best Call of Duty league, Call of Duty teams in the entire league, um, but definitely going to be interesting. And we're getting to close to the end of the season. St. Clair still 8-0 with a perfect map count. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm really excited to see if St. Clair can keep their perfect uh, win streak going. Um just because, like, I think they've been undefeated since, like, March or something crazy, you know? Yeah, it's so. pretty ridiculous. So we are going to be starting. The maps today are going to be Moscow, Hardpoint, Moscow, Search and Destroy, and Raid Control. So St. Clair, obviously, very well versed on Moscow for specifically Search and Destroy and Raid Control. Not so much on Hardpoint, but still expect to win. But the first bullet actually going to go to Zen, and I really going to pick up the second one. So uh, already starting off pretty decently here for the side of New Haven. Yeah, St. Clair has been... Uh, really dominant the season as we had talked about before they're undefeated they haven't lost a map yet so uh we're gonna have to see if new haven can be their first map loss today or if they'll keep with their uh streak going yeah so new haven is five and three on the season st Clair still eight and no undefeated so definitely going to be st Clair favorite in this one as with most of matchups up until we get deep into the playoff run that's when i expect them to find some sort of challenge in some of these games but i mean against utica actually last week was their closest match they ended up going uh, all the way to the 11th round in search and destroy on, on uh, standoff but they did end up winning that one clutched it out uh priestly specifically got a triple in that round and it was able to win it there so uh, they have definitely been more had more competition throughout the season but again like i said there ain't no 42 on map count like there's still no one really that can touch them yeah, it looks like St. Clair does have uh, point control right now. I mean, there's two kills there from the side of New Haven, so that could change the tide a little bit, but Sauce's going to get a little bit of revenge on two members of New Haven as well. Yeah, so St. Clair, again, just holding this point very, very well. They are finally being taken over here by New Haven. They were able to clear him out, but three kills for St. Clair pushes them back onto that point, and we see Brandon already dating to starting off hot in this game. Yeah, we're going to see it. Sauce is going to... Kind of go around, maybe for a little bit of a flank here, it looks like. Uh, gonna come scout out the members of New Haven, try to see if he can get a pick early, and he does. Twice, actually. Sauce finds two, destroys a couple trophy systems, has a pistol, but not able to get that final kill. So, we'll get two and be taken down himself. But St. Clair, we're on that point, but they ended up respawning on the other side. So, looks like they will also just rotate back to this new point. And, uh, I mean, the hard point rotations on Moscow are actually pretty easy to figure out. There's only four of them, and they do go by really quickly. So... Interestingly enough here, St. Clair going to try and push onto the site, but New Haven's putting up quite a fight here. Already at 30 points, St. Clair only at 46. Yeah, Priestley going to pick up another one there for St. Clair. Uh, point is still in the favor of New Haven. He's going to get taken out there by Shadow uh, real quick. Shadow's actually going to take out two members of St. Clair. Uh, but St. Clair looking to capture that point as soon as possible. Yeah, game's still pretty even state right now between these two teams. Points uh, just 15 apart, so... Looks like Sauce will be flanked here. Not going to go down here just yet, but he will finally be taken down here. But Nate going to catch that kill. And I mean, if we're looking at the season overall, St. Clair, I think really there's only been a couple of teams that have challenged them so far. There was one time um, we talked about Utica. They did bring them up to it was a 250 to 220 or 230 on hard point last week. And then they went 6 to 5 on uh, search and destroy. Great control was 3 0. It was pretty dominant for St. Clair. And, and I think their control is one of the best I've seen in the entire league, so not surprising there. But, I mean, for St. Clair, you think back to last week, it's finally one of those times where they can say, okay, we actually have some good content to look back on. Like, we obviously made a bunch of mistakes to get it that close. So how do we go back? And now uh, Dawson has some stuff you can look back on and say, okay, this is what we need to improve. This is what we need to fix looking forward. Because when playoff time comes, that's when it's going to get real serious for these guys. Absolutely. Zinn kind of scouting it out here. Gets a, a hit on to Priestley, but doesn't manage to take him out there. Uh, St. Clair right now up 90 to 37. Oh my goodness, Sauce gonna take out Zen, but manages to get taken out by BPR, so it didn't end up working in his favor. Yeah, and again, St. Clair here, they were, it was a pretty even game, actually 45 to 37, but St. Clair, the last two hard points, have been able to stay on these objectives, have been able to effectively clear New Haven out, and haven't really allowed them to get any objective time. So the next uh, hard point will come in here, the next rotation, already New Haven on that next one, just waiting for St. Clair to try and move on to it. And uh, I mean, this is where New Haven have to start making a stance where they can get some points back, or else St. Clair is going to start running away with this hard point. Yeah, oh my, Sauce is going to get taken out there. 
But um, this is the, this is the thing. New Haven is very good with these hard point rotations. They get there before Saint Clair can, uh, and that's how they get those first few points. But then once Saint Clair gets it, they set up a pretty solid defense. So it's really difficult for New Haven to break through. Uh, but I mean, as I'm saying that right now, New Haven has been able to hold this point so far. Yeah, they're doing a pretty decent job on this one. Obviously, uh, with it being in the middle of the mall here, it is the most open hard point in the game to defend and it's very tough to actually hold this for a surprisingly long amount of time but New Haven has gotten quite a bit of objective time here, time here to catch up so they're definitely proving that they can hang with the best of them and I mean 5-3 record is nothing to snuff at it's still positive obviously uh, a couple of rough losses one to I believe it was Utica and St. Clair uh, trying to give them another one here and I mean it is 118-66 to it's still a significant lead Gorilla gonna get the pistol kill on a BPR there and look for Shadow Ooh. here gonna find him too so that's a double for Gorilla here, and St. Clair going to cross the 120 here in just a second. Yeah, St. Clair going to step onto this hard point up 120 to 66, um, which, I mean, it's pretty normal for St. Clair to have that kind of uh, large lead cushion, so to speak, right? Um, but it, I've seen a little bit of challenge from New Haven today compared to other schools that uh, we've gone up against in the past few weeks. Yeah, for sure. I, I do feel like St. Clair, what they tend to do, though, is they kind of feel out what... New Haven want to do and what the, a lot of their opponents do in the early game where they, they end up giving up maybe 10, 20, 30 points to start it off and see, okay, this is how they're going to rotate. This is where they're going to come from. This is how, this is who plays where and how they attack these points and how they defend them. And that's when St. Clair strikes is like, okay, we understand their strategy and that's now that we know how they're going to play, that's how we're going to play. So you see actually here, you, they understand that a lot of times what New Haven will do is when there's below 20 seconds left, they're just going to give up on a point. They won't even send someone to try and take control of it. They'll just say, okay, we're going to concede this one. We're going to go to the next rotation, and we're going to start getting hard point uh, credits on or objective time onto that next hard point. So you see there, Brandon was able to uh, – I really was able to catch up Brandon. Uh, but I was saying, like, they tend to just be okay with giving up a lot of points. So St. Clair, what they'll do is they'll spend extra time on these uh, hard points, wait till it's zero, they won't even rotate everyone over, and they'll take two or three people, and they'll force themselves onto the hard point with multiple people because they know they're kind of playing this bunker style with one flanker and three uh, around or on point. Yeah, they're very confident with their ability to be able to, to breach that point um, once they kind of regroup. I mean, you know, you play retake there rather than kind of trickling in one by one or sending half your team to go to the next point while you finish it up. They are very confident in their teamwork and being able to figure that out. Oh, Priestley going to hide, but actually manages to get taken out here by Shadow. Uh, but Sauce is going to take out Shadow in a little bit of retaliation. Yeah, some points caught up here, but St. Clair already up 196 to 72. Totally in control of this hard point, and I really don't th think there's a way back for New Haven here. And we did say the prediction was St. Clair was 3-0. Yeah. Um, and I mean, at this point, with St. Clair at a 42 map count, you can't really predict anything else. Uh, yeah. At least until playoffs comes around. So, uh, I mean, I would be pleasantly surprised to see someone challenge St. Clair here, but I just don't think it's realistic. It would be quite an upset if uh, we went to a map four today. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So. 205, the uh, 203, sorry, the count for St. Clair right now. And I mean, overall. St. Clair just knows how to play these maps so well. They've played Moscow, they've played Raid, and we've seen, I think, almost every single game, we've seen control Ooh. on Raid. Yeah. And I feel like St. Clair always gets this map rotation where they say, okay, we want Moscow somewhere, and we want to have control on Raid, because that is just their bread and butter. They know how to play that so well. They know all the rotations. And, uh, I mean, a lot of things change in COD, but Raid control for Cold War it does not change. It stays the same and the rotations are the same. And St. Clair has just locked it down. Like, I think I've seen maybe one time someone got a round off of St. Clair on control. But other than that, they've been perfect. They've been 3-0 every single time they played it. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, St. Clair's ability to play um, Raid. I mean, that's pretty much all I had seen from them online before I started learning about COD esports and whatnot. I just saw, like, clips from Raid Control. Because <laughs> it's it's the bread and butter. I mean, it's a very familiar map for a lot of players too, um, and it's especially something because it was in uh, the previous game in the franchise. It's something they know. But that's gonna be really getting another kill with that score streak, and that is gonna be it here in just a second. Saint Clair gonna take the hard point, 250 to 90. Saint Clair take game number one and move us into Moscow, search and destroy. Yeah, that was a pretty uh, pretty good game. I mean, New Haven did manage to rack up 90 points there, um, which honestly, like that's. That's pretty good uh, compared to some of the last games that we've seen. We've seen some teams that are barely able to get 25, 50 points on, on St. Clair. So, I mean. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Zen killed them, and then they respawned, and then he killed them again. Yeah. So, 
I definitely think the star for New Haven there was Zinn. He was the top fragger for their team, and he was the only one that really showed any challenge for St. Clair at any point in that game. Uh, and I really think moving on to Search and Destroy, he's going to be the one I'm looking for to try and break open these rounds because saying I feel like Search and Destroy for St. Clair hasn't really been their strong suit. It's definitely been Control and Hardpoint where they yes. can just run around, they can outgun you, they can uh, with the better mechanics they can play better and with better strategy. But Search and Destroy is a very slow very methodical uh game mode and you are only 4v4 no respawn so every pick is going to be very very impactful so if there's any time for someone to try and take a map off of st Clair, it, it's going to be search and destroy definitely because once you manage to take out some of those key players um especially like you take out somebody like Priestley, who is proven to be time and time again kind of like uh, taking charge or he takes those crazy flanks or something like that right you take out Priestley right in the beginning well, that's pretty big. Yeah, for right. Sure. Yeah. So and, I mean, he has been. I mean, honestly, for Saint Clair, you can't really say there's been one player that's been. True, incredible. they're all pretty. Great. I think Priestley definitely gets on the highlight reels a lot more often because he goes for these crazy plays and they end up working out. But uh, I got to give credit to all the guys and especially the coach there. You see Dawson in the nest. All credit goes to him. I mean, there's no way you go 42 and 0 in map count now, 43 and 0 in map count without having a strong person at the helm and a strong strategist being able to. Uh, outplay your opponents because realistically yeah you can run a gun you can have better mechanics you can have better aim but uh, in something like search and destroy you need to have strategy or else you are going to fail regardless of how much uh, how good of an aim you have absolutely and i mean like we've seen dawson for a few years he was on the cod team yeah. himself and then eventually he, he realized you know what i'm good enough now that i'm done playing i'm gonna coach and, I mean, it's paying off great. You could tell that he has that experience, that he's played Varsity COD before. Um, and you could see that his players are, are learning from it, right? They're, yeah. they're learning these strategies. They're working with him. And it seems like there's a good dynamic on the team as well. And it's so much value, right, to have someone. Not only has he played Varsity for before, not only has he played for St. Clair specifically before, but he's played with Priestley. He's played with these guys. He played, like, the fact that you're playing, you played with Brandon. Yeah. Like, the fact that the coach is playing with the guys means so much because when you're going and you're making strategies, he already knows what your strengths are. He already knows what you're good at and he knows where he should place you. And that's so much better for a coach to know his players very well and to have that previous connection with them because it allows you to be so much more receptive of what your coach wants to say because you know him you he was he was with you he was your captain like he's already someone that you have that level of respect for that you know that he's going to lead you in the right direction absolutely and i mean the whole team this year they seem fairly close especially like with call of duty compared to a lot of other esports there's four people mm -hmm. so your team can be a lot tighter than a five or six person team right there's less kind of yeah. um like in Overwatch, maybe your supports will be really close, right? And then they're kind of like distant from the rest of the group or whatever. In COD, you all need to work together. Same thing yeah. with Rocket League. You know, there's three, four people. You're all kind of close uh, and you work together a lot better because everybody is sort of, for lack of a better word, friends with each other. Yeah, and I, I think realistically too, looking at how you played it, it's kind of, you don't have as much of a defined role as you would have in a lot of other esports. Yeah. Like, for example, like League, you have a top laner, a jungler, a mid laner, or in Overwatch, you have supports, you have DPS, you have tanks. But for Call of Duty, like, yeah, you're running different guns, you're going to have someone who is the designated planter, and you have someone who is a flanker, and someone, you know, you have, you have roles, but it's not as well defined as maybe other sports are, or esports are which means that you can kind of flex between those roles and you can say, okay, like, yeah, obviously I don't play this, but I have a lot of insight into it because I've been uh, in this position before and I've played it before. So I think that helps a lot too. But we are going to be getting into Moscow Search and Destroy here sometime very soon. So we'll, uh, uh, I mean, our prediction was 3-0. <laughs> I'm hoping we get some kind of fight back from New Haven here, but I mean, they won, I think it was 250 to 78 or something on that first map, so I, I really got to go with St. Clair favorite here in this round number two. Absolutely. So looks like we're going to get into it here. Um, we're going to see St. Clair, New Haven getting ready. Oh. They're resetting again. So, not sure what's going to be happening here. Probably just reset the lobby, but I mean, I want to talk about St. Clair looking at playoffs because I think realistically for this COD team the rest of the regular season is kind of just you're playing it out but you're not worrying too much about whether you're going to win or lose because you played your toughest challenge like Utica College was your greatest challenge in this division and you already beat them so everyone else in this division you have probably already beat or have another team that you beat has already beaten them right so yeah. you are going to know you are the best team in the division and you're going to be getting that cemented like first seed spot guaranteed looking into playoffs so 
what do you say to your team? What do you talk about, like thinking about going moving forward? How do you uh, talk about that? And how do you think St. Clair can try and improve themselves before the playoffs begin? Yeah, I think uh, probably the best way for everybody to kind of improve themselves is make sure, you know, we all stay humble. You know, yeah, we're yeah. undefeated considering how this game goes today. We're undefeated, but I mean, there could be an upset. People could have learned from our VODs, from games with us, scrims, et cetera, et cetera. You know, stay humble, keep practicing mechanics and work together as a team. And I think that's all you can really do. Yeah, I think COD, again, not really too much. Uh, there's a lot of room for growth, but when you're 8-0, there's not too much more you can do <laughs> as a team. Yeah, right? so. as long as you don't let the the mental get yeah, to you, Yeah, right? you, you gotta make sure you stay humble, don't get too proud, and don't say, okay, I can just run in in 1v9, because that leads to uh, your downfall. But it is going to be first kill here, Priestley going to find there, but it is being traded back, actually. Two, two are going to go down for St. Clair here, so this is going to be quickly turning into a 2v3 b site. Looks like it will be the target. Sauce will be floating around here trying to find a player. Going to hop in there. Shadow going to go down here. Sauce will be able to retreat. He's going to stay alive. So it will be a 2v2 bomb is on B site. And this is going to be dangerous now for New Haven to try and pick this one up. Yeah, looks like uh, St. Clair has a pretty good uh, hold of the bomb here. But it looks like... I'm oh, sorry. Ooh, if they know Sauce came from here. Oh. Sauce going to get him though. It's going to be a 1v1 Sauce against one. He's going to find Zin. No, Zin's going to win that fight. And New Haven take the first round. St. Clair going down early here. And uh, I think this is the first time they've actually been losing on Search and Destroy. Yeah, I mean, it is the first round. But that usually doesn't happen to St. Clair. Usually the first round, they clean it up pretty quick, right? Um, Sauce just barely getting taken out in the corner there. But, I mean... That, that was quite impressive for New Haven. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I talked, I, I said Zinn was the person we want to watch yes. in this Search and Destroy. Already sitting at 3-0, already clutched out in the 1v1. So I definitely think New Haven can put their hopes into this guy to uh, somehow win this Search and Destroy for them. Because St. Clair, like, their worst, I think overall, their worst game mode has been Search and Destroy. So I think definitely looking forward, I, they got to strike back here. Absolutely. We're going to see St. Clair has the bomb here. Shadow's going to get first blood onto Priestley. Um, so St. Clair needs to play it. It looks like it's going to be... Looks like it's going to be a B plant here. Um, they're kind of heading towards B site. But New Haven's all kind of on A. So if they can play it fast, they might be able to set up a little bit of a defense. But uh, we're actually going to see New Haven is going to come out around the corner here while Sauce is getting ready to play it. Yeah, so Brandon does get Shadow here. But the problem is they're... Gorilla is playing so far back. He's not going to be able to get to his teammates. He will start moving up here. Will catch Zin coming out of here. He's going to get a free pick on there. That's going to be a 3v1 now. Just Irelu trying to defend this bomb plant. Will go down here. He will try and make this a 1v3 and be, or 1v2, but it's going to be real tough for me to see him win this one out. Yeah. In this situation, you kind of got to pray, right? Like, yeah. uh, you can maybe get one kill, and then after that, they're going to know where you are. So you need to be very careful with how you approach it here, especially with Sauce getting that quick angle and uh, taking him out right in the beginning. Yeah, so they will strike back here. Will tied up one apiece. It was really key there. Gorilla did stay quite far back, but he was able to catch Zayu coming out from Maul in the middle there and able to get that pick. And that was very instrumental in how the round played out because the first pick did actually go over to New Haven, but they weren't able to keep everyone at B and they sent all people to A. They didn't realize the bomb head was still not put down yet. So Sinclair able to get over to B and able to recover. So it will be New Haven on attack again. They did win this first round, see if they can get another. Yeah, so now we are 1-1, one, one, and uh, St. Clair, they're looking looking—they're looking like uh, maybe they woke up a little bit, you know, all right. Uh, New Haven is actually putting up a bit of a fight against us today, so we have to be very careful. Uh, Irelu going to go down here to Gorilla. Gorilla is actually going to get taken out by Zinn. Zinn is definitely the player that St. Clair is going to want to try to take out first uh, because he's able to get those quick frags, and uh, it seems like he's kind of... Uh, the MVP for New Haven. Yeah, for sure. Priestley getting a shot down pretty low here, but we'll be able to escape and regen some of that HP. Three players a piece. Bomb will go down here on B site. So St. Clair trying to retake this one. Zin, ooh, just barely lives. Brandon not able to get that frag. Priestley on the side will be able to get one. BPR going to trade it back, though. Just going to be 2v2 here, but he's going to shot in the back by Sauce. Sauce going to collapse in on this site. Sauce going to take out a second one as well, and that's going to be St. Clair getting the defuse and taking round number three. I love kind of seeing in these player cams in the background, you can see Dawson in almost every one of them. He's jumping between computers like, okay, you got this, go over to the next one, okay, they're, they're good. You can just see them kind of walking back and forth, so 
uh, again, goes back to good coaching and, uh, you know, making sure everybody's doing their job. It's always nice to have the coach so involved in how the players are doing and what, you know, like being it's able really to It's really nice be, to see. And, and it's so much better than it was online last year, for example. Yes. Because you couldn't have that connection to have your coach literally behind you saying, okay, this is where I want you to go. This is what we should do. This is our plan for this round. This is how we're going to execute it. It's so much better that you have someone in the back of your mind and behind your head saying that. So Sauce at 6-1 and one now, definitely turning up here in Search and Destroy. St. Clair reclaiming the third round reclaiming the lead that they uh, usually bring in to a search and destroy map. Yeah, Sauce is doing great today. Uh, really popping off. So we'll have to see if he's going to continue that. Uh, Brandon actually going to get a kill for himself here, but going to get taken out by Zin again. Zin looking terrifying this game. You know what's really interesting too is normally when you see Moscow search and destroy a lot of times people like going for A because A is the closest site you can get to. It can be really really well defended and that's why most people tend to go towards it. I really was going to be in the back here just waiting to see if anyone pops up but I was going to say B has been <laughs> taken every single site for attack on this map so far which which is very very interesting because normally you don't see that gorilla is gonna have a flank here on irelu though irelu has no idea gorilla's back here gorilla will spot him out gonna take some shots but not gonna be able to put him down finally gonna get him taken down there and it's gonna be a 3v1 just shadow here gonna find one trying to find some more though gorilla and sauce on site trying to defend he will reach on the hp back up to full so it is a 1v2 15 seconds remaining can shadow take this one for new haven or will st Clair go up to a 3-1 lead we'll find out here diffuse has to come down very soon gets one actually but can't find the other other is going to come up behind him and that's going to be it he won't be able to get that diffuse down sauce will take him down in the end and st Clair going to take another round and put themselves up three to one yeah st Clair looking pretty good right now uh three to one lead is definitely a place you want to be um shadow with a nice kill on the priestly here Sauce at 7-1 now, definitely doing very, very well here in Search and Destroy, stepping up when a couple of his teammates are not doing so well. So it is going to be a 3-1 lead now for St. Clair, and we did expect St. Clair to be pretty far ahead. I mean, they Zin did end up winning that first round for him, but after that, they just haven't really showed anything significant happening. It looks like they will finally go for A, though. A finally being taken here they will try and get this plan down on site very very quickly priestly is going to find one branding going to find another it's going to be a quick 4v1 here zin finally going to get priestly down here but it is going to be a 1v3 that's all that's left he's going to have to ace by himself to try and win this round but he has someone on the flank here gorilla coming up behind and he's going to take him out st Clair take another round and put themselves up four to one here in moscow well if anybody could do it it's definitely going to be zin you know in that situation there He's been fragging out today, absolutely popping off, yeah, so. For sure. Definitely been uh, the one player for New Haven that's really stood out so far. I mean, a couple kills for Shadow here, but BPR and Irelu sitting at 1 and 5. Not doing too hot, but I mean, for St. Clair, Sauce 7 and 1 doing pretty well, but you see even Priestley 5 and 5 uh, is getting some of those entry frags, but isn't really getting anything outside of them, so. I definitely think Priestley not struggling a little bit today. Sauce just kind of cleaning up his team for his teammate there. And that's a good thing about St. Clair is they, it doesn't matter. If someone has an off day, there's someone that can pick up the slack for him. Absolutely. Gorilla is going to get taken out here. St. Clair. Uh, well, actually, both teams are even right now in terms of lives. Sauce still has a bomb and hasn't planted yet. So we're going to have to see what will happen. Down to 49 HP. Irelu is going to be able to heal up here. They will opt to go for B. While both players for New Haven are currently on A site. So means the rotation will come through here in just a second. Bomb plant will go down. 45 seconds left in this round for New Haven. And try and defuse this one and try and put themselves back and cut this lead to a 2-4 deficit. Yeah, it looks like we are still 2-2. Two -two. Uh, I really are going to try to sneak up on St. Clair here. Bomb is down. 28 seconds on the clock remaining. Sauce will be lying in wait here, waiting for someone to try and get on the site. Branding going to be staying outside here for just a moment. They are going to slide through here, going to try and place themselves on the site here. They will spot one, though. Branding going to find one, and Ryrelu going to be found by Sauce there. And again, Sauce clutching up for St. Clair and putting himself to an 8 1 while St. Clair puts themselves to game point. Yeah, this is a great position to be in if you're St. Clair. A little bit nerve-wracking if you're new haven but i mean there is chance for a reverse sweep there's always a chance for a reverse sweep you believe in new haven i believe i believe, I believe. we believe new haven reverse sweep here we go and i mean i mean i love st Clair. i think i mean obviously we are students of st Clair, so we do are going to cheer for them <laughs> we but, are uh, no I'm just kidding <laughs> yeah we are we are um but i was saying for st Clair, like i feel like 
they haven't had a real challenge yet throughout a lot of the season and I, I definitely think every chance they get to have that challenge is going to be way better for them in, in a learning sense Ooh, uh, people are actually going to get brandon there brandon with the peekers advantage wasn't able to take advantage of oh. but sauce gonna call in the uh, streaks there irelu gonna take him out sauce gonna find irelu though and sauce will take him down that's gonna be was saint that claire kill for sauce uh yeah it was sauce getting the ace i didn't even yeah it was him holy smoke sauce just popping off in that round doing everything he needs to this. do and that's gonna be one kill streak gets the other one on the back side and he's gonna find the last person here finds irelu behind the pillar and gonna find the final player bpr trying to get him here in sauce 12 and 1 just he is fragging out right now sauce just popping off <laughs> he's uh definitely i mean that's a great way to end off the first well the second round there um just sauce absolutely fragging out you know 4k uh great look for saint Clair and sauce in general yeah i mean he was eight and one there put himself up to 12 one in that final round he had a couple good clutches there especially and he closed out the round i think three separate times for saying yeah Clare. and when you can when you have that closer it makes you feel so much more confident and it makes you feel more confident as a coach too because yeah. you say okay you uh, we're gonna play him a little bit safer because we trust him in the end to be able to clutch up those uh those plays that you need to and we're going to moving on to ray control here san claire with a 2-0 lead do you think new haven can come back in this one possibly like i said it's been about eight months or something like that since st Clair has lost a map so uh they could if they do okay. it's gonna be a big deal if we go to a game four like this is gonna be clip worthy oh, i think the bigger deal four. would be the fact that st Clair is losing on raid control because yeah i, just I was about haven't to say seen, like i said i haven't seen anyone really challenge them on raid control at all throughout this season i think even on the times where it seems like they don't like they don't have a chance to really take it somehow they end up finding those kills they end up putting down the response to zero and I mean, I think a lot of it too is the fact that St. Clair gets those initial picks and they put so much pressure on the spawn, right? Absolutely, like, yes. You get to that back building and you sit in the bathroom beside spawn and you just wait for people to come out of it and you take them down and then you wait in the apartment building in Billard's room and you just mow them down as soon as they try and get onto that B site. So I think St. Clair just has such a good game plan for this map and specifically this mode and why they're so successful with it. Well, we see it every week, John. You know, they get the first point, they leave maybe one person on the point or something and then everybody just pushes up and can spawn and it's gg at that point i mean yeah. sometimes they're able to uh the enemy team is able to pick off a few members of st Clair and retake it for a little bit but it's just you know they're very good at claiming that point and pushing up to spawn and just holding i definitely think here st Clair gonna be playing the usual uh route they do priestly and just holding the spawn branding gonna be holding spawn as well they'll have a couple people gorilla gonna be staying pretty far back making sure points aren't taken but my prediction, St. Clair is going to take it 3-0. I think that's pretty clear. And I want to see New Haven try and challenge them here. But I think St. Clair has looked so good in both Hardpoint and Search and Destroy. I just don't think New Haven, unless they pull out some kind of miracle, is going to have a really good chance here of taking one from St. Clair. Absolutely. Start off fast here. Sauce is actually going to go down. Priestly 2. Uh, Irelu's going to get a kill on his teammate Zinn, actually. Uh, which is a little unfortunate. But Gorilla is going to manage to pick up two more members of new haven yeah right now st Clair just taken already uh, six lives on new haven here up so many respawns already taking control of a site here gonna get one tick looking for a second and like i said Ooh. sauce just running into their spawn and he's on the flank now zin he's knows crazy. he's back here he isn't gonna get that kill those in with the better aim is gonna be able to pick that one up but they are gonna have to try and get the ace up but it's already taken so st Clair with two minutes and six seconds remaining just have to get one site now b site by the pool See, as a as a PC player, I don't know how these guys can aim so well on uh, controllers. So I have mad respect. You know what? That aim, their aim is ten times better than training. mine. It's all about the training. It's all the training arts. Just, their anime they're training. They're grinding arts. for a reason. So exactly. Sauce will be up in the pool. He's gonna get the pistol kill on Shadow in the bar. Might as well have a drink at that point. You are going back to the spawn. Irelu gonna be trying to defend here, and Sanglair hasn't really made any good progress on this point yet. They will finally be cleared off here. Gorilla on a five killing spree right now is hunting for more, trying to extend that kill spree. See how far he can go with that one. There's two members in the bar here for New Haven. They're going to be able to hold on here. We'll find one. Gorilla can be taken down, actually. They're trying to make some progress here on B, but actually New Haven's kind of pushing them back. Yeah, looks like uh, St. Clair, their strategy might not work as well against New Haven. It's still working well, but, you know, they already captured point A. They're a third through point B, so New Haven... 
they got to push on and at least start uh, capturing a bit of the site. I mean, they can push back St. Clair all they want, but if St. Clair's still capturing, then... Yeah, so it looks like I really want a 5 gun killing spree here, actually. St. Clair got one tick, but weren't able to get anything more. But the problem is we're looking at the live count now. Grenade not going to go where he wants to. Almost takes himself out there with his own nade, but will be able to escape it. New Haven with only eight lives remaining here. So two respawns for each of these players. There will be two of them going down right now. Six lives is all that's left. And St. Clair going to be able to clean this up here in just a moment. Yeah, that's what it appears to be. But there are still four lives remaining for University of New Haven. Now there are three. Like I said, there's still a possibility for a comeback here. St. Clair, though, very close on finishing the progress at B-Site. That's going to be the last one standing. Just Zinn, and he will be taken out. St. Clair going to take round number one and put themselves to within two rounds of a one round of match point. Yeah, you can see here. Uh, Priestley getting taken down, and then I do believe Sauce comes next through the window. No, nope, actually, that's going to be Priestley again, and Sauce. Yeah, so actually, I really get a couple nice frags here, but again, the problem is early on, you saw the first, I think, six or seven kills. One of them was for New Haven, and the rest of them were all for St. Clair. You start off in such a big life deficit that you just feel like there's so much pressure for you to make something happen. Uh, on these defenses, you force yourself forward, and that's where St. Clair really takes control of it because they kind of get, they kind of hit your panic button. You know, you, get, yeah. you start off with so many lives down that you feel like you need to try and get advantage of these, you know, try to get a better position while you have some lives, rather than playing it slow and waiting for that later stage when you can start planning and strategizing how you want to play around the remaining lives you have left. Absolutely, Sauce here again. He's just running and gunning. Look at him go, <laughs> just popping off this entire game. Uh, just. What is he at right now? He's at 11 and 6 right now, which is pretty impressive. Again, top fragging for his team. Yeah, he's doing pretty well for himself here. One tick was taken on a site, but they ended up... Uh, actually, the full tick wasn't taken, but there will be a B push here. All four players going to be on B site here. BPR will not be found out by Priestley. Priestley knows where he is, though. Going to throw the nade in there, trying to get him. Will knock him down, but there will be a counter spray in behind him. That's going to be a couple trades coming out, but a tick is found here, so... A second tick might come through here in just a second. It does. So New Haven making some pretty good progress at B here. And they might even get this last objective before St. Clair can actually get back to it. Yeah, that's what it is starting to look like. Yeah, they're going to cap B right here. St. Clair going to start on A. Um, I mean, lives are pretty even right now. We have one point in the favor of New Haven. I'd say they almost have the advantage. They for... have two minutes, but the problem is now the attackers do not have the advantage because... There is only one site to go to, and that means the defenders will be crawling out there. There's going to be a couple people here on site, but Shadow will be taken by Sauce here on site. Going to try and run for the hills to keep himself alive here. Ooh. Will get one, but he's going to get shot from behind. It will be taken out eventually. Lives still pretty even down about three, down three lives here for New Haven. So both teams still fighting pretty hard here, but there will be making some progress being made here. So New Haven definitely uh, putting St. Clair to the test. See, if you can get the trade, it's always worth it, but... New Haven, looking like they might almost get this. I mean, there's a third left on the control point. They've been at 14 lives. They've killed St. Clair, I think, three times. Wait a respawns, second. And this is going to be it. New Haven, take a round. And St. Clair on rate control actually get taken down on the defense there. So no way. really, really good job by New Haven there. And I mean, the key to me was St. Clair was trying to come from multiple different angles, but Zayu actually had a flank angle on multiple people. So they died and then came back and respawned and then died again to the flank. So, I mean, all credit goes to New Haven there. They played that really, really well, baited out their rotation onto that A site after they took B and pulled us to one apiece. And I'm very pleasantly surprised that St. Clair is going to be challenged today. Me too, especially on raid control. Like you said, that is their bread and butter. It's what they're known for. So seeing a little bit of a challenge on here, I'm a little bit excited, you know? If anybody could take a map off of St. Clair right at the end of the season, it's gonna be New Haven. Ooh, Shadow picks up two there. Pretty good spot. Was able to get two players here. They will be trying to push onto A side here. St. Clair Sauce gonna get one. Branding getting in another as well. Shadow will take down Sauce and Trey, but Gorilla gonna get him back. So will mean St. Clair will try and make some progress here on A site. Yeah, looks like St. Clair is able to get about halfway so far, but uh, Brandon is actually going to get taken down, and so it's Priestley here. Um, so that could be a little bit worrying. Yeah, I think A-Site will be taken here. St. Clair is going to have about 2 minutes and 10 seconds to start us off with on B-Site as soon as they decide to take A here. All players right now for St. Clair are actually off the point. So this is 
Very interesting. They will finally be trying to take this point and complete it up. Give themselves a little bit more time here. So a minute 57 for B-side. I think what they were actually doing was very interesting. They were planning... They were trying to bait people over towards a site because it wasn't done yet. And so they tried to get uh, Zen there, but Zen actually just st stood his ground and was able to get a pick at the last second. But St. Clair, meanwhile, has been able to get a lot of kills and looking towards B. They are up five lives, so they do have a pretty significant advantage there and are trying to push on to B side. Yeah, Brendan on a bit of a killing spree here, times five. So, uh,. Looking like Brendan is definitely pulling his weight here. He's tied with Sauce right now, but Gorilla is actually the one with the kill lead on side yeah, of St. Clair. He's slightly ahead here, but Brendan with that kill will catch up to him. And B site going to be down to one tick here. St. Clair going to get a second one on B site, and that is going to be St. Clair cleaning them all up. And that's going to be St. Clair taking another attacking round in just a second. They are going to be able to clear him out, could try and get him in spawn. And that's going to be St. Clair taking us to a 2 1 lead here in just a moment. It seems really weird to me. St. Clair is just not taking these points. I feel like they're sending too many people ahead. And I mean, realistically, they are up 10 lives now, so it isn't too worrisome. And there they go. So they do end up taking it. But on, it was really interesting to me on B and A site there. They didn't finish the points. They put it down to like a half of one tick, and then they would start looking for picks. Do you think maybe it's a little bit of trolling? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. I think strategically, because the defenders are still split, you have... so. Basically, on hardpoint, the attacker advantage when there is two points because the defenders are split between them. They have to try and defend both of them at the same time. So the longer you have that split, the longer you have the advantage as an attacker because you send, you can't come for planks. There isn't going to be all everyone grouping onto one site trying to prevent you from taking it. So they want to keep that for as long as possible. Try and bleed out as many lives as you can while you have the advantage because as soon as you take A, B site is the only available site and everyone's going to be drawn towards that site. Yeah. Right? So I think it's more for strategy more than anything else. Ah, I see. That makes sense. So we're gonna get a few here, it looks like. Yeah, gonna get two. Ooh. One on the sauce, one on the Brandon. Zin. Um, which, again, I mean, it's it's not unexpected for Zin. Zin has done this time and time again, uh, this game. He does see Brandon over here. She's previously in sauce as well, but will be taken out there in just a second. So, uh, everyone will be taken down here. Lives, even actually right now at 25 apiece. I really trying to sneak in through the pool here. <laughs> We'll be able to get by Priestley here. Priestley can watch on the right side. I really just going to be able to see him, but Priestley will be able to take a BTR with a nice headshot there. Trying to find another one. Be Looks like Irelu just doesn't want to hop into this bar right now. Z Zen is going to take out two, but this is going to be a big flank by Sauce. Going to find one. Going to find two. Doesn't see the third player. Will be shot from behind. Sauce looking for a third. He's oh. going to get it. Sauce popping off here in round number four. Doing really well for St. Clair, and they will be able to defend this B site. Wow, that's uh, that's another three K for Sauce there. Again, Sauce just dominating today. Gorilla too. He's gonna get a two K on the side there. Sauce gonna run back up towards uh, B site, I do believe, and gonna get a pick early. Zen will be able to take him out here. B site only twenty five seconds left for these attackers, so New Haven gonna have to decide where they want to put pressure on and try and get that one down because they haven't actually gotten any progress on uh, A site, but now they will. They have three people. On here, there will be Priestley trying to challenge them through the middle here, but they're going to get one tick. Time is frozen for the moment, so they're trying to make some progress here. And three members, they one flank here. Shadow going to find one in mid as well. He's going to Zin going to find another. So they will be able to get A site here. If they can get A site, they get a lot of time. They already have a tick on B site, which is decent progress. So yeah, they will be able to get A. And with a minute 22, this is definitely doable here for New Haven. Absolutely. I mean, uh, right now, they're halfway through B site. They could potentially uh, cap this. But they are down in live, so unless... Well, actually, right now, Sauce is on point. So he's kind of uh, taken away a little bit of that progress. But um, if they lose all their lives before they cap, then it'll go to St. Clair. This is match point, I believe, right? Yeah. St. Clair looking to try and take it all. Six lives is all that New Haven has left. Oh. Just a respawn for each of them. That is it. St. Clair with lots of lives remaining is going to force UNH into this hard point. Or into this control point they are going to have to try and work with the only five lives left ppr does get sauce though so we'll force them back off one but st Clair can afford to play very very safe here no respawns left for new haven here gorilla gonna go down from bpr but this is gonna be very dangerous now because irelu did end up going down as well zin gonna get sauce so only eight lives left for st Clair, but again only these three lives remaining for new haven here zin is gonna be the only one left that's gonna be it st Clair take control on raid three to one and take the series three to zero i think that means 
potentially, if playoffs start next week, that means they could be going into playoffs completely undefeated for the season. It's not even just completely undefeated. Matt, they haven't lost a single match. Yeah, that's what I mean. And I mean, you think about this, right? If you're a team facing St. Clair, and you look at this and you're like, okay, so what is St. Clair's weaknesses? What are they not good at? What can they not perform on? What have they historically done in the past that hasn't worked for them? Nothing hasn't worked for them. They've Every single map they played on, every single mode they played on, every single game they played has been perfect. And yes. yes, there are small mistakes that they made throughout those games. Obviously, we don't have a perfect search and destroy. You don't have a perfect record on everything. You even saw there, saying there was an attack that worked for New Haven. But they didn't drop a single map. So I feel like going into playoffs, it is going to be so difficult for other teams to plan against them because St. Clair has just shown no signs of weakness, no signs of letting up. Absolutely. St. Clair has been a menace this season in a star league. And uh, we'll have to see how they continue this into the playoffs. Um, any other things of note you want to talk about from this past game, John? I mean, honestly, I think New Haven did perform pretty well. Specifically, Zinn did perform very, very well. We saw him get that 3K in the first round of Search and Destroy. And they didn't put any attacking around. So St. Clair definitely a little bit of chink in their armor. But overall, I mean, St. Clair, just the better macro. The, they played so much better in their rotations on a hard point. And I think a lot of times there was small glimmers of hope for the side of New Haven, but St. Clair just stole them away with a couple clutches, specifically Sauce, picking up that ace in the final round of Search and Destroy. Just looked so good throughout that whole mode. And it, looking forward, it's nice to have that rock because I feel like the one little thing that St. Clair has a little bit of trouble on is Search. So it's nice to know that Sauce can clutch up in those moments when you need him to. You know what also looks really good is Crunchyroll, one of our True. new sponsors. Crunchyroll delivering that 1080p anime straight to our eyeballs. Uh, you can get a 14-day premium trial for free at Crunchyroll.com slash Saints. Welcome, Crunchyroll Yokoso to St. Clair. And yeah, I thank the rest of our sponsors as well. Tim Horton, Subway, the SRC, and St. Clair College Alumni Association. We couldn't do what we do without you guys, and we thank you very much for what you're doing. We also want to shout out the merch. As we always do, you can get some wonderful merch, your scrim t-shirts, your jerseys, your jackets, your hoodies, your crew necks, whatever you want, your masks. We got it all. So you can go to acquire.ca slash saints. That's A-K-Q-U-I-R-E dot C-A slash saints to get yourself some saints merch and cheer on these boys. Uh, a lot of our teams are going to playoffs now. So yeah. this is when you really want to rally behind us. You really want the boys to know and that we're here for them and that we are cheering them on from wherever you are. So get yourself some merch and uh, cheer on the boys as they enter playoffs. And I mean, I'm super excited, right? Because this is crunch time. This is where yes. you're going to be facing a lot tougher opponents. And this is when, you know, obviously the 9-0 season, the 45-0 map count, kind of crazy. Um, moving on, this is where it's going to start getting serious the competition. This is where we're really going to see what these boys have in store. Because I feel like they haven't really shown us everything. And it's going to be so exciting when they do. Absolutely. If they could win Nace Star League undefeated, that would be a That's huge crazy. achievement. That would be crazy. So uh, we'll have to see how that goes over the next few weeks. But uh, for now, I do believe that's all. Yeah, I think yeah. so. So we are going to be back here Friday with some NECC regular season League of Legends action at uh, 6 p.m. So you can be here 6 p.m., catch some NECC regular season League of Legends. They just won their first round in the NACE Star League League playoffs. So come check them out, see how good this team is because uh, they're ridiculously good. So that is going to be it, though, for tonight. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm John and Bill Bangs Udima, joined by Amanda Commander Dupuy. Uh, love everyone. Stay safe and have a good night. Hang with the best of them. And I mean, 5 3 record is nothing that's not bad. It's still positive. Obviously, uh, a couple of rough losses. One, two. I believe it was Utica and St. Clair uh, trying to give them another one here. And I mean, it is 118 66. It's still significantly Gorilla going to get the pistol kill. Very familiar map for a lot of players, too. Um, and it's especially something because it was in uh, the previous game in the franchise. It's something they know, but that's going to be really getting another kill. With that score streak, and that is going to be it here in just a second. St. Clair going to take the hard point, 250 to 90. St. Clair take game number one and move us into... Yeah, looks like uh, St. Clair has a pretty good uh, hold of the bomb here, but it looks like... I'm oh, sorry. They know Sauce came from here. Oh. Sauce is going to get him, though. It's going to be a 1v1 Sauce against one. Is he going to find Zinn? No, Zinn's going to win that fight. And New Haven take the first remaining. Can Shadow take this one for New Haven? And will St. Clair go up to a 3-1 lead? We'll find out here. Diffuse has to come down very soon. Gets one, actually, but can't find the other. Although he's going to come up behind him, and that's going to be it. He won't be able to get that Diffuse down. Sauce 
We'll take him down in the end. And St. Clair going to take another. Getting the ace there. I didn't even. Yeah, it was him. Holy smoke. Sauce just popping off in that round, doing everything he needs to this. do. And that's going to be one. Killstreak gets the other one on the backside, and he's going to find the last person here. Finds Irelu behind the pillar. And going to find the final player, BPR, trying to get him here in Sauce. 12 and 1. Oh, on uh, controller. So I have mad respect. You know what? That aim. Their aim is 10 times better than training. mine. It's all about the training. It's all the training arts. They're anime training They're grinding arts. for a reason. So yeah. Sauce will be up in the pool. He's going to get the pistol kill on Shadow in the bar. Might as well have a drink at that point. You are going back to the spawn. They do end up taking it. But on, it was really interesting to me on B and A site there. They didn't finish the points. They put it down to like a half of one tick. And then they would start looking for picks. Do you think maybe it's a little bit of trolling? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. I think strategically because the defenders are still more for strategy more than anything else. Ah, I see. Makes sense. Go around. Gonna get a few here, it looks like. Yeah, gonna get two. Ooh. One on the sauce, one on the Brandon. Zen. Um, which, again, I mean, it's it's not unexpected for Zin. Zin has done this time and time again, uh, this game. Be able to see him, but Priestley will be able to take a BTR with a nice headshot there. Trying to find another one. Looks like I really just doesn't want to hop into this bar right now. Zen is going to take out two, but this is going to be a big flank by Sauce. Going to find one. Going to find two. Doesn't see the third player. Will be shot from behind. Sauce looking for a third. Oh. He's going to get it. Sauce popping off here. Yar, but this is going to be very dangerous now because I really did end up going down as well. Zen going to get Sauce. So only eight lives left for St. Clair, but again, only these three lives remaining for New Haven here. Zen is going to be the only one left. That's going to be it. St. Clair take control on raid three to one and take the series. Three to zero.